Hello everyone. So today's topic is about quartiles, decimals, and percentiles. Dito, these are actually the other measures of position. So, bakit kaya ito yung mga measures of position? So, let me give an example. Kunwari, ako ay isang researcher ng DepEd. Kunwari lang ha. Then, ang goal ng aking research is basically determining the IQ level ng mga grade 11 students sa Pilipinas. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, dapat meron akong IQ test that will give the most accurate and precise result for a student. Okay? To be particular sa mga grade 11 student lang. Tapos, itong IQ test, i-distribute ko to sa lahat ng mga uh, eskwelahan sa Pinas. Okay? So, suppose I start uh, I started distributing the IQ test sa isang eskwelahan. And I will rename this school as School A. Okay? So, dito sa School A, nabigay ko na yung IQ test. Okay? Uh, nabigay ko na and ngayon, I will basically wait for the results after ko na-distribute yung IQ test. So, after na natapos nila yung pagsagot ng IQ test, na yun, I will uh, receive their test para malaman ko yung IQ level nila. Na yun, since I, ano, I uh, receive their IQ test so that I can determine their IQ level, ang ibig sabihin nun, nagagather na ako ng data. So, na yun, gusto ko gusto ko siyang i-present in bar graph. So, ito yung maging chupa niya. Okay? So, this is the bar graph. So, this bar graph simply describes the IQ level ng mga grade 11 students sa school A. Okay? So, dito, sa, sa graph na to, yung mga naka-blue digit numbers dito. Ito yung number of grade 11 students sa school A. Tapos itong number dito in vertical axis, ito, these are the IQ levels. Okay? So, okay. Meron na tayong bar graph dito. So, what I will do for this one? I mean, what will I do for this one? Ngayon, gusto ko kunin yung median dito. So, if, if you're going to recall, ang median is basically the middle value ng isang distribution. Siyempre, if you're going to recall, in getting the median, dapat naka ano to, di ba? Dapat naka ascending order. Okay? Just like for this one, okay, itong numbers na to, dapat naka ascending order. Or, in other words, dapat ito ay naka from the lowest value up to the highest value. Okay. So, once again, median is basically getting the middle value ng isang distribution. Okay? So, dito sa distribution, wait lang nga, natusulat ako. Ayan. So, dito sa distribution, okay, this graph sums up into 100%. Okay? In every distribution, they always sum up to 100%. Okay? So, in getting the median, which is basically gitna ng distribution, suppose andito siya. Okay? Kasi um, I'm estimating na ito yung middle value ng distribution. Itong middle value na to, okay, if I cut this distribution into half, kasi hinahanap ko yung middle value, that would be 50 percent ng distribution. So in other words, in getting the median is the same as getting the 50 percent of the distribution. Okay? So the thing is, you know how to get the median kasi you know the formula na gagamitin mo sa ungroup data or group data. Okay? But how about naman if hindi 50 percent ang hinahanap? Okay? So, 
let's just say you wanted to find 25%. So, let's just say meron akong uh, uh, green dot dito or green point. Itong green point na to, this is basically 25%. Okay? So, what if you want to find 25% of the distribution? So, paano kaya yun? Another example, let's just say you want to find naman yung, ano, yung 75%. Okay? So, let this uh, purple color be the 75% of the distribution. So, paano naman to? How will you able to uh, find the other percentages aside from 50%? So, dito, gagamit na tayo ng quartiles, decimals, and percentiles. So, dito, we're going to focus muna sa ungrouped data. Okay, wag muna tayo sa group data. Ungrouped data muna tayo. So dito sa ano, sa ungrouped data, basically these are the data na nakalista lang siya at hindi nakagrupo. But before that, let's first introduce these three. Okay? So what is quartiles? Or mali pala ko ng grammar. What are quartiles? Okay, let me write it here. So itong si quartiles, basically siya yung nagdi-divide ng distribution into four parts. Kunwari, meron tayong line dito. Okay? So, this one, I'll divide this line into four. Okay? So, maging one, two, three. Okay? So, I have one, two, three, and four equal distribution. Okay? Na naka, uh, nakahati. Okay? So, ito, sa quartiles, dito, you have 25%, 50%, and 75%. Okay? So, that's for the quartiles. Basically, quartiles divides the distribution into four parts. Now, how about for deciles? Sa so deciles naman, similar lang sa quartiles. They divide the distribution into parts. Pero, into 10 parts. Okay? So, let's divide this one into 10. Let me just use different pen color ha, for the well, for the sake of the viewers para maintindihan nila. So, let's just say meron tayong 1, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? Kunwari lang, they are uh, equally, ano, equally separated ha? kasi uh, alam mo naman nito eh, drawing lang naman to eh. This is not literally a, ano, this is not literally a uh, perfect line na di drawing ko. Okay? So once again, this is a decile presentation. So once again, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 parts okay, na naka, uh, nakahati. Okay? So once again, deciles divide the distribution into 10 parts. So ano yung mga percentage meron dito? So dito, they will basically, uh, wait na, gamit ako red. So dito, they will basically use 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, long space, ah, sorry, uh, 80%, and 90%. Forgive, the, forgive me for the spacing. Okay? But basically, these uh, lines na to, naka-percentage to, pero in 10th value. Kumbaga, 10%, 20%, 30 and so on and so forth. Kumbaga, these percentages are multiples of 10, basically. So, these are deciles. Pero paano naman kaya pag percentiles? So, percentiles, similar lang din sa quartiles and deciles. Their main goal is to divide the distributions into parts. Ang difference nga lang is that itong si percentiles, 
i-divide mo to into 100 parts. Okay? So, kung unwari, ito yung 9 mo. So, you're going to divide them into 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. Hanggat you divide them into 100. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth until you've reached the 100th part. Okay? So, yun yung percentiles. Okay? The percentiles, basically, they divide the distribution into 100 parts equally. So, ano naman yung mga percentage ginamit dito? So, ito, ito mga percentage na ginag gagamitin mo dito are from 1% up to 99%. Okay? So, once again, sa percentiles, ito, you can have uh, you can have 1% until 99%. Okay? So, basically, these are the uh, other measures of position that you need to do. So, let's have a short recall ulit. Quartiles, okay, divides the distribution into four parts. Deciles, this, uh, divide the distribution into ten parts. At saka si percentiles, divide the distribution into 100 parts. So, sa quartiles, you're going to use three uh, percentages. We have 25%, 50%, 75%. Sa deciles, you will use percentages na naka uh, multiples of 10, which are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, hanggang 90%. While for percentiles, you start from 1% up to the 99%. Okay? So, dito, let's talk about their formula pagdating sa pagdating sa Android data. So let me write here first the words ungrouped and data. Ayan. So, if you're going to find the quartiles, okay, pero kasi yung tatlo eh. Okay. Kung babalikan natin yung graph, si 25%, siya si quartile 1 or the first quartile. Itong si 50%, siya si second quartile. Yung 75%, siya si third quartile. Okay? So, meaning there are three quartiles in total. Okay? So, this is quartile 1, quartile 2, quartile... Okay? So, what will be the formula you use to find the quartiles sa isang ungrouped data? So, ito yung formula niya. Okay. Q uh, K K times quantity N plus 1 tapos merong TH sa taas all over 4. Okay. So once again, ang formula ng quartile sa isang ungrouped data is Q sub K is equal to K times Quantity, N plus, uh, N plus 1, tapos meron siyang TH dito, then divided by 4. Yung TH yan, yung nasa taas, yung binilugan ko, ano siya, uh, basically, ano siya, um, sasabihin niya kung anong, uh, anong place ang, ano, ang kukunin mo. ba kasi sa TH, ginagamit na dyan pang ranking. ba meron tayong first, second, third, tapos meron tayong fourth, fifth, and so on and so forth, ba? So, itong TH na to, ginagamit niya usually in getting the uh, getting the specific number in a uh, given uh, ungrouped data. Okay? So, basically, TH is for ranking. In other words, pang ranking siya. Okay? I'll discuss this soon. Itong K na to, K should be 1, 2, or 3. Ito yung para sa quartiles. Okay? 
Now, how about for deciles? So, as you can see, yung kay deciles, kung pupunta natin dito sa graph dito, we have 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, so on and so forth. So, ito meron tayong D sub 1, D sub 2 for 20%, D sub 3 for 30%, D sub 4 for 40%, D sub 5 for 50 and so on and so forth. Okay? And we have, last but not the least, 90% as D9. So, big sabihin nun, D1, D2, hanggang D9 ang iyong mga decals. So, yung formula ng decals is almost the same as quartals. So, ito yung tura niya. D sub K is equal to K times quantity N plus 1 plus my TH sa taas all over 10. So, dito, Ang pinakakaiba nga lang dito is that yung denominator ginamit dito ay 10. Tapos, yung k dito, gagamitin mo is from 1, 2, 3, 4, until 10. Okay? Hindi e ito dapat nakadecimal ha. Like, literally, whole number sila ha. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? So, these are for the k. Now, how about naman kay percentiles? Si percentiles ang dami niya actually, di ba? Kung makikita mo, it divides the the uh, distribution into 100 parts. So, big sabihin nun, you have 1% up to 99%. So, itong si 1%, siya si P sub 1. Tapos itong si 99%, siya si P sub 99. So, ibig sabihin nun, you have P1 up to P, uh, P sub 99 or P99. So, that means, ganito maging tsurang formula niya. PK is equal to K times quantity N plus 1 TH all over 100. Okay? Where yung K mo starting from 1 up to 9. Actually, um, may mali pala kong ano, may mali pala kong nalagay dito. Actually, this is 9 pala. 9 pala to guys ha. Forgive me. Okay? And this one, ano to, since kasi hanggang 99 to, so, yung K mo is until 99. Okay? Forgive me if, ano, if I'm wrong. Okay? So, once again, uh, for the quartiles, yung K mo is from 1, 2, and 3. Deciles, 1 up to 9. Tsaka si percentiles, 1 up to 99. Okay? So far, so good. Naiintindihan. Okay? I hope na you pay attention dito ha, kasi I'm actually looking for my mistakes dito. Okay? Because while I am teaching here, I'm looking very carefully sa information na sinishare ko. Alright? So, ngayon, let's try to have a practice. Okay? So, tingnan natin to. Let's just say you have a given ungrouped data dito. Okay? Ungrouped data. Ilista ko rito ah. We have 14, 16, 17, 10, 12, 20, 22, 13. Okay? So, you have a given ungrouped data. So, hanapin natin dito si first quartile. Hanapin natin si third quartile. Hanapin natin si uh, fourth decile. At saka hanapin natin si uh, 75th percentile. Okay, let's find this four. Okay, so let's start first muna by arranging these. Uh, wait lang let's start muna by arranging these numbers in ascending order. Okay, meaning we will list these numbers from the lowest value up to the highest value. 
So which one of these uh, numbers here are the smallest? So smallest dito ay si 10, di ba? Ito yung smallest. Nagay ko dito letter S para di tayo mahirapan. Now, find the largest value. So ang largest value dito is 22. Now, what we're going to do is we will list okay, these numbers from smallest up to largest. So we will start from 10 kasi siya yung smallest. So 10. Then after 10, we have 12. Okay, cancel ko to para, tayo, para hindi tayo mahirapan. The next is we have 13. So cancel this one. Next is we have 14. Tapos sunod is 16. Tapos 17. Then we have 20, which is the second to the last. Then last but not the least, 22. O, ayan na. So let me check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So, that's it. Naka-arrange na to in ascending order. Now, let me put this uh, record, uh, uh, record na hanapin natin dito. So, first, let's start by finding the first quartile. So, I will use the blue, uh, blue pen dito para... Ito yung magkalito dito. So, let's find first quartile. So, dito, we will have Q sub K is equal to K times quantity N plus 1 TH all over 4. Since yung K dito is 1, therefore, we will have Q sub 1 is equal to 1 times Yung N mo, N is basically the frequency or the number of data dito. Since there are total of 8 data, so we will put N is equal to 8. Okay? So therefore, we have 1 times quantity, 8 plus 1, TH, all over 4. Now let's... Uh, Simplify to get our answer. So this one, this would be 1 times uh, 9, ah, 9 to 8 plus 1 TH, this would be 9th. Okay, 9th. Okay, all over 4. So this would be Q sub 1 is equal to 9th all over 4. So we need to divide this 9th into 4. So if you're going to divide 9 by 4, you will have 2.25 pH. Okay? So kumbaga, you will find your first quartile dito. 2.25th place or position. 2.25th position. So the thing is, what is the value of 2.25 position? So, tingnan nga natin, we have the first value, second value, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, at saka si eight. So, ito, si 12, siya si second value, di ba? Tapos si 13, siya si third value, right? So, in between them, in between them, we have 2.25 position. So, how are we going to find uh, 2.25th point, uh, 2 position? Okay? So, ibura ko lang to itong uh, solution dito. Hopefully, na take down yung itong notes or you can just basically go back. Okay? So, itong gagawin natin. So, first, we can separate 2. Point, uh, 25th into 2 uh, second plus 0 0.25. Okay? Kaya itong gagawin natin na. Itong C2, okay, ipag-separate mo siya, magiging uh, 2 TH or second in other words. Because 2 TH is just the same as 
second. Okay? Then next, plus yung decimal value niya. So, yung decimal value niya ay 25, di ba? So, magiging second plus 0.25. Ngayon, since sabi ko kanina na si 2.25th position located siya in between the third position at saka sa second position, therefore, what you will do is you will get the third value and minus it with the second value. Okay? So, panunit-panunit ko to ginawa. So, first, di ba, meron tayong 2.25, di ba? So, first, itong number, bago decimal, ito gagawin mo sa kanya. Okay? So, 2, magiging 2th or 2 uh, raised to nd, which is second, in other words. Tapos, maglagay ka ng plus sign after that. Then, yung decimal place niya, which is 25, gawin mo siyang 0. 25. Okay, kumbaga parang sineperate mo si 2 at saka si 0.25. Okay? Then, after that, dito sa 0.25, dito, since base sa, ano, sa drawing ko kanina, meron tayong second place na 12 at third place na 13. And in between second and the third value, si, si 2.25 located siya in between them. Okay, in between those two uh, positions. So therefore, we will get the, uh, the position that is higher, which is third. Okay, then minus it to the second position, which is ito. Okay, so ganun yun ha. So now, let's simplify. Okay, para makuha natin yung sagot. Okay. So, your first quartile is the second value plus 0 0.25 times quantity, the third value minus the second value. So, what is the second value? Since yung second value mo is 12, therefore, we will have 12. Plus 0 0.25 times quantity, third value. Since your third value is 13, so ilagay natin dito si 13. Minus, second value mo si 12, so we will put 12. So, let's now compute. Okay, we can use our calculator. So, this would be 12 plus 0 0.25 times quantity, 30 minus 12. So, this is 12.25. So therefore, our first quartile here is 12.25. Ilagay natin siya dito. Okay? So this is 12.25. Ayusin ko lang si 5, ah. Ayan. Alright? So let's find our third quartile naman. Or Q sub 3 or Q3. So, the same formula, we will have QK is equal to K. Oh, wait lang. I, 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 lang yung mouse ko. Okay, K times quantity N plus 1 raised to TH all over 4. Okay? And since yung K dito ay C3, therefore we will have Q sub 3 or Q3 is equal to 3 times quantity n plus 1 th all over 4. And as usual, yung n natin ay basically frequency or the number of given data, which is C8 in total. So therefore, we can just write n as 8. So now let's simplify. Hanapin natin yung position ng, uh, position ng third quartile. So this would be uh, 3 times quantity 8 plus 1. So magiging 3 times 9. Wait na nga. Times 9 all over 4. Ayan. So 3 times 9, this is actually 27 all over 
4. So, 27 all over 4. Kunin natin calculator natin. So, 27 divided by 4. So, this is exactly 6.75. Okay, 6.75. Now, punta tayo dito sa uh, list of numbers natin na naka-ascending order. So, ulit nga, si 10 siya si first place, di ba? 12, second, third, C13, 4th C14, 5th C16, 6th uh, C17, 20 C7, at saka C8 ay C2. Uh, oh wait, 22 pala to guys, sorry. Nabura ko kasi kanina, forgive me, ah. this is 22. Okay, forgive me. Ayan, 22. So, going back. <clears throat> Ngayon, saan kaya si 6.75? You see, we have the 6 value, which is the 17, and we have the 7 value, which is 20. So in between them, there exists 6.75. Kung baga, andito si 6.75 in between 17 and 20. So nayon, what are we going to do? Okay, so I'm gonna erase this uh, formula, a uh, formula to the solution. You can come back. Kapag gusto mo siya malaman. So, let me erase this for a second. Okay. <clears throat> so, this one, 6.75. Okay. Una, kunin mo tong number before the decimal. So, magiging 6. Tapos, lagay mo ng th. Okay. So, we have 6. Okay. Plus, Kunin mo yung decimal value niya, which is C, 0 0.75. So, plus 0 0.75. Times quantity, okay. Since meron tayong 7 value at saka si 6 value, kasi dyan ang exist si 6.75 in between 7 value and 6 value. So, therefore, we will use 7 value and subtract it with 6 value. Okay? Nakukuha ka? I hope nag-gets nyo ako dito ha. Okay? So once again, para maintindihan nyo ulit, since si 6.75 located siya in between the 7 value and the 6 value, therefore, yung, uh, yung gagawin natin dito sa loob ng parenthesis is we will subtract the 7 value by the 6 value. Okay? So, ngayon, let's solve for the third quartile. So, yung 6 value natin, which is C, 17. So, 17 plus 0 0.75 times quantity, yung 7 value natin, which is C, 20, minus the 6 value, which is C, 17. Now, let's get our calculator. Okay. So, this would be uh, 17 plus 0 0.75 times quantity 20 minus 17. So, this is exactly 19.25. At yan yung third quartile natin. So, this is 19.25. There you go. Okay, so that's it. That's how you find the third quartile. All right, so now let's find the fourth decile. Okay, or D4. So, ano nga gamitin natin formula? Ah, wait lang nga, ayusin ko lang. Yung mouse. Okay, so what formula we will use? So, we will use itong formula. Okay. DK. Okay? Since kasi decile siya, so we will have D sub K or DK is equal to K times quantity N plus 1 raised to TH uh, raised to TH to lay N plus 1 TH all over 10. Ayan. So since your K is 4, therefore magiging D4 na to. D4 is equal to 4 times quantity, si n 
Once again, si n is yung total number of given data natin, which is si a. So, h plus 1 th all over 10. So, sige nga, let's take a look. d4 is equal to 4 times 8 plus 1, that would be 9. So, magiging 9. So, this would be 9 all over 10. So, 4 times 9, uh, that would be 36. So, 36. Okay? Divided by 10. Okay. So, let's divide 36 by 10. Ang makukuha natin dito is 3.6. So, yung fourth decimal mo is 3.6. Six. So, paano kaya natin kunin si 3.6 value? So, balik tayo ulit dito. We have the first value, second value, third value, and so on and so forth. Okay? I'm re reinstating this one para, I mean, restating this one para, uh, ano ba, para pampare ko lang ba. So, we have the first value, second value, third value, fourth value, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth value. So, dito, okay, si 3.6, it's located between the third value and the fourth value. Okay? Once again, si 3.6 is located at the third value, I mean, between the third value and the fourth value. Ulitin ka to and the fourth value. Okay, so anong gagawin natin? So, the same thing lang yung ginawa natin sa quartile. Okay, yung paghanap ng exact value niya or approximate value if ever. So, first, di ba, 3.6 siya. So, una, we will get the number before the decimal point. So, gawin natin siyang th. So, 3th or this is, in other words, the third value. Okay, third Kasi itong si 3th is just the same as third. Okay? So, yun. So, third. Plus, yung decimal value niya, which is 0.6, ilagay natin siya dito. Plus, 0 0.6. Times 1 dp. Since kasi si 3.6 located siya in between the third value and the fourth value, so we will have the fourth value minus the third value. Okay? So that's how you do it. So, lagay natin dito, D4 is equal to the third value plus 0 0.6 times quantity, fourth value minus the third value. So, Let's now substitute. The third value, chassis 13. So this would be 13 plus 0 0.6 times quantity. The fourth value, that would be 14. Okay? Minus the third value, that would be 13. So let's use our calculator. By the way, if you can solve this one mentally or manually or both in an easy way, then there's no problem for you. All right. So in this case, going back, ang sagot natin dito ay 13.6. Okay? So that is our answer. Okay? Our answer of I mean our answer for getting the fourth decile is 13.6. Or 13.60 kung gusto mo siyang gawing two decimal uh, value. Right now, let's answer the last uh, required problem, which is getting the 75th percentile. Okay, so now kuni natin si 75th percentile. So since we use percentile, so the formula, I mean, sorry, since yung given natin or required na anapin natin is ano siya pang percentile, so we will use this formula. Okay, so therefore, we have PK is equal to K times quantity N 
plus 1 th all over 100. Okay. Now, let's solve. First, kunin natin yung position niya. So, ah, <clears throat> sorry. So, yung k niya ay 75. Therefore, we will have p sub 75 or p 75 is equal to 75 times 1 pp n or c8. Okay. Na-explain ko na to kanina kung bakit c8. Kung baka kasi si n ay yung total number of given data. Okay. Plus 1 th all over 100. Okay. So now let's simplify. So 75 plus 8 plus 1, ah, plus 2 times 8 plus 1. So this would be 9. Okay. Divided by 100. Okay. This one, kung gagamitin mo yung calculator, 75 times 9, wait lang, wait, 75 times 9, you will have 675 or 75th pala all over 100. So, divide mo yung 600 and 675th by 100, you will have 6.75th. Okay, 75th. So, by the way, you can, uh, no, you can simplify this one. Ha? Kung ayaw mo mag-calculator, gusto mo algebraically isolve mo. There's no problem. Okay? Ako kasi nagmamadali lang ako. <laughs> Kaya calculator is on the way. So, now let's find 6.70 feet. So, once again, ito si first value, second value, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, tsaka si eighth. So, itong si 17, siya si sixth value, 20 ay si 7 value. So that means, si 6.75 exist in between 17, as, sorry, in between 6 value and the 7 value. Okay? So ulitin ko ah. So, si 6.75, it exists in between the 6 value and the 7 value. So therefore, we're going to use 6 value and 7 value sa ating susunod nating solution. Okay, so uh, we will erase this. Ito nga, burahin ko lang to. Ayan. So we will do the same thing we did earlier once we find the position. So di ba, meron tayong 6.75. So una, kunin natin yung value bago yung decimal. Tapos i, ano gawin natin siyang in position. So this would be 6 tapos my th. Okay. 6th or 6th. Okay? The next, kunin natin yung decimal value niya. So, that would be plus 0 0.75. Okay? Times 1 pp. Since si 6.75 ay in between 6th value and 7th value, so magiging 1 pp, 7th value, minus the 6th value. Okay. So now kunin natin si 75th percentile. So copy natin yung formula. Ah uh, yeah, formula 6 plus 0 0.75 times quantity 7 minus 6 value. Yeah. So since si 6 value ay si 17, so we will put 17 plus 0 0.75 Times quantity, si 7 value ay 20, minus si 6 value ay 70. So, you can use calculator here. So, this would be 17 plus 0 0.75 times quantity 20 minus 70. So, this is exactly 19.25. So, ito, si 75th percentile ay 19.25. So now, tingnan natin yung mga sagot natin dito. So, before you proceed to this one, syempre, dapat nakinig kayo kanina sa ano ko sa discussion on how to get the 
answer pagdating sa ungroup data. So, ngayon, tingnan nyo to. Okay. If you're going to notice, there's actually a similar answer dito or common answer dito. Kumbaga, meron dito kasi na magkapare sa sagot. And sino kaya yun? Ito ay si third quartile at saka si 75th percentile. Okay? They are actually the same. So, hindi naman to actually yung parang, ano, yung parang like, ah, it's a coincidence. Talaga na they're the same. No, it's not a coincidence. They are actually the same. Okay? So, in getting the median, which is basically getting the 50% ng distribution, di ba? It's actually the same as finding the second quartile. Okay? And ito, in finding the second quartile, is the same as getting the fifth decile. And getting the fifth decile is the same as getting the 50th percentile. Okay? So, pag kumuha ka ng median, it's just the same as getting the second quartile. In getting the, the second quartile, it's just the same as getting the fifth decile. And in getting the fifth decile, it's just the same as getting the 50th percentile. Okay? Tapos, meron pa isa. Si first quartile is just the same as uh, getting the ano ba yun? Getting the 25th percentile. Okay? Getting the first quartile is just the same as getting the 25th percentile. Okay? Tapos, meron pa tayong isa pa. Si uh, third quartile. Si third quartile is the same as getting the 75th percentile. Okay? So, there are actually many more uh, equalities actually. Okay? Pero, these are the three parts that you actually need to know. Okay? Ito muna dapat mong alamin. But if you want me to know the uh, other uh, no, other uh, ano other positions that are actually the same uh, isulat ko na lang siya dito okay uh, let me write it here let's just say this one si decile 1 is just the same as getting the 10th percentile decile 2 is just the same as getting the 20th percentile decile 3 is the same as getting the 30th percentile so on and so forth. And last but not the least, getting the 9th decile is the same as getting the 90th percentile. Okay? So, kumbaga kapag, eto kasi, one whole number lang to eh. Kumbaga, first digit lang. Tapos kung kukunin yung uh, multiple ng 10 nila, pang percentile na yun eh. Decile 1 is the same as percentile ng 10 or 10th percentile. Decile 2 or second decile is the same as 20th percentile. Third decile is the same as 30th percentile. Fourth decile is the same as 40th uh, percentile and so on and so forth. Okay? So, ito, uh, applicable din to sa group data. Ngayon nakikita nyo itong uh, mga equalities. Ito, whatever you learn here sa ungroup data is the same as uh, application nito ng group data. Okay? So, ulitin ko ah, now that you learn these mga equalities like uh, first quartile is the same as 25th percentile and so on and so forth, applicable din yan ha? It's still applicable sa group data. So, ngayon, try to practice yourself sa internet and such because the next thing I will discuss is applying quartiles, deciles, and percentiles sa isang group data. So, I hope you have learned in this video. So, and at the same time pala na, I hope na you've listened this one very attentively. So, anyways, I think yun lang naman masabi ko. So, thank you and see you soon.